What's going on guys, do it yourself, Andrew Flockhart, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys five different pieces of equipment that you should be carrying on you at all times. Let's get into it. All of these tools are gonna to be able to fit under your seat in a box or some sort of compartment, so they're there when you need them, guys. You don't need to be carrying around a big box or suitcase with you. You just throw them under your seat, you forget they're there, and then when you come across a situation where you need them, you have them, and that's why they're there. The first piece of equipment I'm talking to you guys today about is jumper cables. Everyone should have a set of jumper cables on them at all times, whether it's for yourself or whether it's for your friends or family or even a stranger in need, everyone should have jumper cables on them. I've come across too many people that don't have jumper cables on them and they have a dead battery and that is just no good. So make sure you have a set of jumper cables on you at all times. The second piece of equipment I'm talking to you guys today about is a good toe strap. I am shocked by the amount of truck owners that don't have a toe strap. I've been to situations where friends have called me and they've asked for a pull and they don't have a toe strap on them. They're talking about using ratchet straps and stuff like, come on guys, let's get a toe strap that we can pull each other out of the ditches and out of the bush. Especially with the winter time, guys, there's a lot of situations that I've come across this winter. I pulled probably five or six people out, even in people stuck in their driveways, people stuck in front of my house. And I had a toe strap on me that I was able to pull them out. It's really easy to have. You should always have it on you. When getting a toe strap, guys, make sure you have something that you can actually attach to your vehicle with. This toe strap in particular has a circle on it. It doesn't have a way of getting on the front hooks. So make sure you buy yourself a shackle when getting a toe strap. There's a lot of people that'll buy a toe strap, but they don't actually have the proper equipment or know how to hook it up to their vehicle. So when they get in that situation, they realize that they can't attach it to their vehicle and it's completely useless. The third piece of essential equipment, guys, is a good first aid kit. Not only should you have a first aid kit, but you should know how to use it when you come across an emergency situation. Yes, having a first aid kit is going to go a long ways, and maybe there's someone that knows how to use it that's there on the scene, but maybe there isn't. And maybe you're the one that's going to be providing first aid to someone in need, and you need to know how to use this first aid kit. Get yourself a first aid kit. It could save lives. The fourth essential piece of equipment you guys should be carrying on you is a set of miscellaneous tools. I've got screwdrivers, I've got pliers, I've got a headlamp that I can work with. If it's dark out and I need to be able to see what I'm doing, I've got sap straps so I can tie stuff up. And I've also got crescent wrenches, vice grips, and other sorts of wrenches in here that I had laying around. Get yourself a set of miscellaneous tools, put it in a little bag, forget it under your seat. Duct tape is also a nice thing to have. You can tie things up if necessary. Get yourself a set of tools so when you're out in the bush or you're out by yourself and you don't have anyone around, you can fix stuff on your own. And the fifth essential piece of equipment, guys, is the proper tools to change out your tire. Not only should you have these tools, but you should know how to use them. If you don't know how to change a tire, you should be practicing in your driveway go through the steps. Every vehicle is a little bit different, guys, but make sure you have all the essential tools on you at all times so that when you get in a situation where you're on the side of the road, you don't have to be calling for help to get this changed out. Go to your tools where you practice, you can get out there and you can get that tire changed. Make sure you know where all of your tools are for your tire change and know how to do it. And that's it, guys. That is the five essential tools that every vehicle owner should be carrying on them at all times. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Until next time, take care.